All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My wife and I uh, have been wanting to store food long term for quite some time. Uh, and rather than doing the jar canning and stuff like that, uh, we decided to purchase a chamber vacuum sealer. Now, with the, vac with the vacuum chamber sealer, you can produce an, a, a tremendous amount of vacuum in a bag compared to those like uh, food saver type external uh, bag uh, uh, vacuum sealers. With these here, uh, most foods that you vacuum seal, like your white rice, pasta, beans, uh, if you seal them, uh, vacuum seal them, and put them in a, in a, like a dark container in a cool, in a cool place, uh, they should store eight to 10 years, uh, or plus at least. Uh, the problem is like brown rice, uh, brown rice because it, it contains more oils, it can go rancid. Uh, probably three years, maybe maybe four, if you're if you keep it in a very cool place. Um, but we've been wanting to store food now for quite some time, so we decided to get this model here. This is by Hamilton Beach. Um, this is the PrimaVac 305. Now they have the PrimaVac 254 and a 406. So there's one smaller in this and there's one a little bigger in this. Um, and the one that's bigger has a, a gas um, option on it too. But uh, that's for uh, vacuum sealing like fresh leafy greens and stuff. We don't need that. So we're just concentrating strictly on dry foods like your rice, your beans, your pastas. Uh, all your dry grains and things like that. Um, so let me go over some of these features. Let me show you how this functions and, uh, and some of the maintenance you have to do. All right, so what we need to do now is turn the machine on. And you see it says zero, zero there. That means it's on standby. Now, if you haven't run the machine in at least 24 hours or more, uh, they want you to do a warm-up cycle. And to do that, you got to push and hold this button here for three seconds or more, and you will see a C here. So if I just hold this, you see that C? And it's ready for the warm-up cycle. All I have to do now is close the lid, and it'll run 15 consecutive cycles in a row, and uh, the machine will warm up. And you see the vacuum here? And you'll see a number 15 there, and that's the countdown for the cycles. So that was the first cycle, and you go, and each one takes one minute. So it's gonna take 15 minutes to do this. And while this is doing this, you can prepare your bags, get all your uh, beans, your rice, whatever you're gonna, um, vacuum seal and get everything ready while this is warming up. All right, so after the warm-up cycle is done, it'll uh, go back to standby and you're ready to run the machine. Um, you have some program options in here. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Uh, they're very simple. You just look in your instruction manual, but you can control the amount of uh, the time the vacuum is uh, vacuuming. So from, uh, I think it's 10 seconds to 60 seconds. Um, now I left mine at 60 seconds vacuum time. So it'll suck the air out of this chamber in here when this is closed for 60 seconds. Now they say that this will remove 99.9% .9 of the air out of the package that you're vacuum sealing. Uh, that's pretty darn good. And I think the only way you're gonna achieve that is obviously leave it at 60 seconds. Um, so I'm just leaving it at that. But it is, you know, a programmable so you can change it. Uh, the seal bar in here. This is a 12 inch seal bar in here. Uh, that's what seals your packages. So the amount of space you have in here, you can fit a bag as large as 12 inches wide by 14 inches long. Also, when you're sealing, and for whatever reason you want to stop it early, if you're watching the gauge and you only want it to go so far, you can hit this upper button here where it says stop vac with a plus sign. That'll stop it, seal it, seal the bag, and stop the cycle, and that way you can shorten the cycle that way if you had to. 
This one, this bottom one here with the negative sign, that one there just stops the cycle completely without sealing the bag. So for whatever reason you forgot to do something or forgot to put something in the bag, just stop it and uh, it'll release the, uh, the vacuum. You can do whatever you want and start the cycle over again if you want to. All right, now inside the machine you get a filler plate. Now if you're doing small bags and you don't need the volume in here, you can put this filler plate in and uh, it pretty much kind of raises the platform, so to speak, up so the bag fits in there better. Um, but if you have a larger bag or if you want to do some, you can do canning in here also, vacuum seal can or jars, um, they would be best to take this out. All right, now we're gonna do some dry canning here. My wife is putting bay leaves in these jars and we're gonna dry can these. You can do beans, rice, and pasta. Now, whenever you're dry canning or even uh, vacuum sealing with beans, rice, and pastas and those type of things or grains, um, you wanna put those in the freezer for at least three to four days. That will kill any type of bugs or uh, insects that may be in there. Uh, so you won't have an infestation going on. All right, what we're going to do now is some dry canning. My wife filled these quart jars with bay leaves. We bought this big old bag, and obviously we can't use that all up in a short amount of time, so we're going to have to store them. Um, so we're going to dry can these. And this machine here will hold two of these jars. Now what we got to do is put your lid on obviously and when you put your ring on just put it on real loose go until it stops and just back it off a little bit and then you want to lay that down in there same thing here it's loose and what what will happen is as it's vacuum, vacuuming the air out of the chamber it's also vacuuming the air out of the jars because of the lid is loose right and as soon as the um, chamber releases the air, the lids are gonna suck right into that jar and it'll be vacuum sealed. Um, but the first thing we have to do is we have to come here and program the seal bar to zero. Let me show you how to do that. All right, now when you're dry canning, the first thing we have to do is take out your insert in the chamber. Now we want to go to the display here. Right now it's on standby when it says zero, zero. You want to push these up and down arrows here. And when you push it, you'll see uh, it says vacuum. It's set for 60 seconds. I can change that right here. And I hit the down arrow again and it says seal. Seal is for two seconds. Now when we're doing canning, we don't need to seal because we don't have a bag in there obviously. So we want to bring that down to zero. Okay, now we set the seal at zero seconds and we'll put that back on standby and now we're ready to dry can. All right, so now we're ready. I put the jars in here, the lids are loose and we're gonna start. You can see they are sealed. So as far as maintenance is concerned, you need to change the oil in the vacuum pump every six months. So it's very simple to do. All you have to do is you're gonna have two screws on, on the side here, and you're gonna have two screws on the opposite side over here. The back cover comes off and you'll see your vacuum pump in there. Now you're gonna see the filler cap. You can take the filler cap off and that's where your oil is gonna go. And you have a sight glass back here also uh, to show you how 
how much oil is in the uh, vacuum pump. Now to drain the oil is very simple. Underneath the pump, you're gonna see a, uh, a drain plug here. So you're gonna have to hang this off the edge of something and take the uh, drain plug off and drain the oil there. So earlier we had this mounted on the counter and we were vacuum sealing on the countertop there. And we were doing rice and it was working fantastic. Um, we were using 12 by 14 inch bags. Uh, we were putting 12 cups in there but that was a bit much so we brought it down to 10 cups of rice per uh, 12 by 14 bag and it was working great. Um, we also used it for uh, beans. We had black beans we were doing, vacuum sealing, and it was working great. This thing pulls so much vacuum out of them bags uh, that th those were coming out like bricks. I mean, they were hard. Uh, so I know as far as food storage that the food is gonna last a long, long time. Okay, here I'm doing two bags of lentils they are six inches wide each, so you can do two side by side, which is nice. Since then, we decided to buy a cart. Uh, I picked this up at Arbor Freight. Uh, it fits on here perfectly. We can wheel this around, uh, put it away in a different room when we're not using it. And uh, when we need to use it, just wheel it back out to the kitchen and start using it. Let me tell you, this is not light. This weighs a, a lot, okay? For something this size, you wouldn't think it weighs this much. It weighs quite a bit. I don't know how much it weighs. Uh, when I find out, I'll put it right over here. Um, but it is very heavy and it's solid. Let me tell you, this is not cheap sheet metal on here, or stainless steel sheet metal on here. Uh, this is very heavy. Um, so that is a good plus there. Alright, so to safeguard ourselves from having a, uh, an infestation of bugs in our rice and things like that, because when you're buying that stuff, when you're buying your rice and you're buying your legumes, yeah, stuff like that, you don't know what you're carrying in with the bag. So it's best to freeze your rice and your legumes. Um, in a freezer for at least three days or more. Uh, that should pretty much kill any pests that are in your, uh, um, in those products. And also, I think the eggs also. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but the way I see it is when you vacuum seal, you're drawing 99.9% .9 of the air out of that, um, that package, right? Any living, any organism that might be in there, I would think would explode, you know, because you got to remember those organisms have the same atmospheric pressure as the outside air. Well, when you're pulling all that vacuum out of there, those cells or whatever that organism is, that, those bugs, they would just, they would just explode. That's my thinking anyways. Um, but just to be safe, put them in the freezer for three days or more. Take them out, let them reach room temperature for a day or so, uh, and then start sealing them. All right, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Um, this is a very good machine to have, uh, and it really, it's great for food security. You know, uh, there's nothing better knowing than you have food in your house. If something happens, you're gonna be okay. And that's a good feeling. So again, the links are in the description under the video, and, um, I will see you guys in my next video.